In this video, I just want to share some of my thoughts about Google Drawings and also document some feature requests. So I love Google Drive's suite of applications and I've used Drawings now for years to create kind of my own signature geometric vector style of illustrations. I've done tons of portrait work using this technique. It's also just a useful tool, but there's some things that I have asked for and would love to see implemented in Google Drawings, as well as Google Slides for that matter. And I just want to go over them in this video and see if you agree. Some of the things that I find myself doing often is building more complex graphics just using the built-in shapes. It's just so easy to do, and I love that. I can use very primitive basic shapes to create more complex icons and graphical elements. I also love the ability to put those into groups to really help manage this object base layout that you get in Google Drawings. One thing that I would love to see is the ability to save these groups of shapes or more complex graphics that you're able to create inside some kind of symbol library. And I feel like they're very close to being able to do that. If I go to the insert menu and go to diagram, essentially this is what you get. Now there are pre-built diagrams. And if I choose, for example, uh, this relationship one, just to use as an example, I'll choose one of these sh circle shape relationship graphics. And there it is. But the thing is, this is made exactly the same way, just using the primitive shapes that are available inside Google Drawings already laid out and formatted so that you can go ahead and start editing these charts and diagrams to make them your own. So there is the ability to sort of pull in this panel on the right hand side and add in these groups or combinations of primitive shapes that have formatting already done. You can then just move them around freely as you want on the page. Some of them are in groups and some of them are not in groups. But of course, you can just group them because they're basic shapes. So being able to add your own diagrams or symbols to a library that you can use throughout Google Drive would be fantastic. I would love to see the ability to have a panel like this fly out and be able to add my own shapes and more complex graphics or groups of shapes that I've put together and add those to a custom library. I feel like this feature is really, really close. They already have diagram uh, flyout menu to be able to insert things like this already. Another really useful thing would be rulers and guides in Google Drawings as well as Google Slides. We have a ruler in Google Docs and something like this, even as simple as it is, would be really helpful. So we have the ability to sort of drag and reposition our margins with a top ruler right up here. This also gives us a sense of the scale of the page that we're working on. And having something like that inside Google Drawings would be fantastic, especially when using this little lesser known feature right down here. You've got these four little diagonal lines that allow you to change the shape and size of your canvas or your Google Drawings document without having to go into the file page setup menu. But it's not very precise. It doesn't give me some kind of flyout or pop-up menu showing me what either pixel dimensions or inches I'm changing this size to. So I just have to eyeball it. So having some kind of ruler that would allow me to size this with a little bit more precision would be fantastic. I feel like that's also a feature that they have already in uh, Google Docs in some form. And that would be great to see in Google Drawings as well, especially if you could snap it to measurements in whatever you're working in, whether it's pixels, millimeters, centimeters, or inches. So rulers would be great. Now, I really like the format options, like the drop shadow and reflection that they have added that kind of flies out from the right. It would be great to see 
a little bit more detail come to this panel. Something that would be incredibly useful for me would be a way to granularly control and modify the shape and dimensions of the object I have selected. Kind of like the way you can here in Gravit Designer, which is also a web-based application. You can see here, I can link my aspect ratio, but then I can change the width and height of whatever I happen to have selected to a very specific number. I really like having that kind of granular control and way to modify the shapes and objects on my canvas. And it would be great to see something like that come right here in the format options on Google Drawings. One other thing that I would love to see is an actual pen tool. Now, sure, we have curves and polylines, and the polyline has really been the limitation that I've exploited to create sort of a unique style of vector illustration. So I love that, and I don't want them to get rid of the polyline tool. Essentially, it's just like a pen tool, but it only creates straight lines, no curves, no combination of those two. Again, in Gravit Designer, we have a pen tool. So we can plot points, create curves, then I can hold down Option or Alt and change the type of point I'm creating to be able to create some very complex and sophisticated shapes, which results in the ability to create some very professional design work. So having a full-fledged pen tool like that in Google Drawings would be fantastic. For me, it would really make Google Drawings my go-to web application for vector graphics. And being able to embed them in Word documents, like we can already do, would just be that much more powerful. Again, we, I can see that it's possible to do something as powerful and sophisticated as this pen tool is with web technology. And I just feel like Google should be leading the way with that. If you need this kind of precision for creating illustrations or icons or any kind of vector graphics, I highly recommend Gravit Designer. But if those features would come to Google Drawings, I think that it would be an unbeatable combination of applications that exist in the Google Drive ecosystem. The last thing that I would love to see come to Google Drawings is a layers panel like you can see here in Gravit Designer. We've got layers over here on the left-hand side. And as I click them, it highlights that object on my canvas, making object-based layouts a whole lot more manageable. I can, of course, just click to select them right on the canvas, and you can see that they are selected over here in the layers panel the same way. So having something like that, maybe on the left-hand side in Google Drawings, much like Google Slides has multiple pages, Google Drawings could have multiple layers over here on the left-hand side. That would be a dream come true for me using Google Drawings. So I think with those features, you'd have an unbeatable set of applications that work together in the ecosystem of Google Drive especially for web-based application and, de and design. The way that they already integrate together with Google Slides, Docs, and Drawings existing all in the same file management system as in Google Drive. Revision history, being able to collaborate in real time with other people across the world. These features would be incredible. So this video is just really to share some of my thoughts on those things, as well as kind of highlight some of the obvious limitations that do exist in Google Drive's suite of applications. But nonetheless, it's still an incredibly useful suite of products that are, are available for free in any web browser, and they work wonderfully. I think with just a few more features, they would really be a force to reckon with. The only thing that I think Google Drive's suite lacks is a pixel-based or bitmap image editing tool. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts in the comments below? Thanks for watching. Bye for now.